Hey everybody, hopefully all of you are doing well. Today we're going to just be hanging out and cooking. I had some obligations I had to meet this weekend with this pasta salad. So you guys are just going to hang out with me, watch me make it, get some ideas, and I'm going to show you how I prepare a little bit of dinner for myself. This pasta salad is for about 40 people. We're gonna have some zucchini in it, white squash, carrots. I have some fresh uh, Persian cucumbers there. And I'm going to be making about five pounds of pasta. Uh, there's already a video that exists where I made a cold pasta salad and a written recipe. Here, you guys are just going to be watching me make this. And you can get ideas. I am gonna give you some base points for this salad okay so I'll put those as we go along at the bottom of the screen so right now I'm just taking off the bottoms and the tops of the zucchini I'm shredding up the carrots I need to get all of that done first before I proceed with you know the rest of the recipe I tend to get all of this stuff out of the way first yeah you guys it's been one of those weeks at work not at home so much but at work where they just kind of you know bend you a little bit <laughs> So I figured why not show you one of my shut up and cook days. I already had to make this pasta salad. I'm catching up on my YouTube videos. That's Alexander Rogers, by the way. One of the people that keeps my company while I'm in the kitchen cooking. And I'm just chopping up my vegetables. I'm going to boil up this pasta. I'm going to start by cooking off two and a half pounds first in this pot. And then I'll cook the other two and a half. I'm only going to cook them until they're just al dente. You don't want to cook them too far because the pasta will start to tear up as you um, stir it. So it's already drained. Don't rinse it, just drain it. And while it's still warm, I usually put the salad dressing. As for the salad dressing, I'll be using Wishbone Robusto Italian. I don't care what other kind of flavor, you know, like it says garlic flavor, no. Robusto Italian is the best dressing for this type of salad for me, myself. That's what I've been using for years. I'm just gonna sprinkle on some granulated garlic. The pasta is still nice and warm. Some dried Italian herbs. You see, I'm just sprinkling it. And you're gonna do all this to taste. I'm gonna season it up. I'm gonna hold back on the salt because I have that Italian dressing and it is you know, salty on its own. Then I'm putting olives, the red onions, and all of the other vegetables that you guys saw me shred and chop up earlier. So here's the baseline or the foundation for this pasta salad, at least the ones that I make. For every pound of pasta, you need at least one and a half to two 15 ounce bottles of the Robusto Italian dressing. That, that should do you good. Even after you add all your vegetables and things like that, you should be fine. The last thing you guys just seen me add was some fresh flat leaf parsley and a couple of bunches of fresh basil. And just stir that all up. On the side, I did make another little smaller pasta salad that had no cucumbers and no olives. There's not gonna be any meat in either of the salads that you guys are gonna see me make today because they were serving other things on the menu that were containing uh, meat and then we had vegetarians that were gonna be present too. So we're gonna move on to the roasted corn salad that she asked me to make. This I've, I've made for myself. I've never really done a, a video on it, but it's really easy to make. I get the frozen roasted corn from Trader Joe's, which I have been using for years. Let me tell you years. And I'll, I'll put a video down below where I used it in a salad before on a arugula salad with shrimp. But this is what I used, eight bags of that frozen corn, just drained it, put it right in those containers. I'm going to take some avocado that's nice and ripe, slice it up into cubes. And if you can't do it the way I'm doing there, put a mitt, an oven mitt between your hand and the avocado, just in case you tend to be more on the clumsy side. So it's okay. <laughs> just do that. And then I'm just going to put the avocado right on top of the corn, squeeze some fresh lime on the top. I think I use for each pan about four limes on each pan. Put some tomatoes, some basil. I put a little bit of onion. I seasoned it to taste. I went on and gave it a stir. And I did go back and add a little bit of the salad dressing, the Robusto Italian dressing, or you can use an olive oil. Since we have that lemon juice down in there, it's just a matter of taste. And what you would do with a salad like this is you keep tasting it to see if it's where you want it to be. There's no rule of how much or how little of an ingredient uh, that you want to go in this salad. You get to do all of this to your own taste. And in the back, I got my James Caldwell going. <laughs> I just keep moving from playlist to playlist. So that's it. We are done with the roasted corn, avocado, and tomato salad. It was about one o'clock in the morning by this time. I just couldn't do it anymore. This was Friday night. I got up the next morning, which was yesterday morning, uh, Saturday, and just double checked the pasta salad because pasta keeps on absorbing and just sucking up everything in there. So I just wanted to make sure that I had enough dressing and I did end up adding some more. 
dropped it off, and then it was time to come back to the house and prepare some of my own meals for me, just me. I've switched over to Roxanne, my girl, raised here in LA, living down south. I love her channel. I'll list her below too. This is some swordfish steaks that I got at Sprouts Market. I left and went over there to the store. Whenever I buy them, I try to cook them the same day. They're nice and fresh. They don't smell fishy. They're not all slimy. I got a nice tuna, ahi tuna steak, put some GDS on it, and I went out to my smoker and I smoked everything, both swordfish steaks and the ahi tuna. They only took about 25 minutes and it's set at 225 degrees. So they didn't take that long at all. The rub that I put on those swordfish steaks is a wet rub that's in a jar that I found at the grocery store. It's really salty, so I really don't wanna suggest it to you guys. That's why I use it on meats like this. I use a very thin layer and on you know larger pieces of meat like this where they'll give them flavor and then just kind of back off. I also brushed them with some olive oil on the grill since I didn't rub it on there prior to me seasoning. So you can always make that up. Once the fish is done, I just kind of flake it. I, I either eat this um, whole or in chunks, you know, I'll cut it up. This is enough for two meals. So my intention with this ahi tuna is to flake it and make maybe some tuna salad with it and eat it with some crackers or something like that. Well, yesterday evening, it was time to eat dinner. I hadn't eaten all day. And I just sauteed up some spinach with some garlic chips and some onions seasoned it up and that's a 10 ounce bag of spinach that you will see is going to cook down to literally nothing and i had some quinoa that i already cooked on the stove so i'm going to have spinach quinoa and this meaty swordfish right on top and my goal yesterday was to be able to make my pesto also i've been putting pesto on top of the swordfish but i just couldn't stop at the store i was in a rush but i will be doing it today and making that pesto to go on top of the swordfish. These combinations I've been eating for the past couple of weeks and really enjoying them. And it keeps me from stopping and getting takeout or something like that. So you're, really, you're eating healthy and you're eating something that's actually gonna do the body good and keep you full into the next meal. So that's what I had yesterday for dinner. Just me, by myself. <laughs> Don't forget to check the description box below for more videos and recipes where I made other pasta recipes that are similar to this. These are just rather larger recipes. So you guys truly did hang out with me and cook today and I appreciate it. Don't forget, other recipes like this can be found at gdseasoning.com and I'll see you guys next time.